Hello, this is Irina from Lala Land Crafts and I'm here today to show you how to maximize the use of your dies by using them in a different way. I'm using them for embossing. This is the plate, I call it embossing plate that, that I created with two of our snowflake dies and it's made out of chipboard. You can buy this thickness of chipboard in our online store at lalalandcrafts.com. Here I have a few samples of the cards that were made with this embossing plate. You can see, I hope you can see, white on white cards are kind of hard to showcase. So the embossing right here, it's very subtle, but it adds gorgeous detail. Here is one more card. You can see pretty embossing on the background layer here. And here is one more card. Once you make your embossing plate, you can use it for a very long time. For instance, this plate has been used over 100 times already and still works just fine. So once you make it, it will last you. And of course you can make in you can make different plates using different dies in different designs and styles. Let me show you how I made it. The size of my plate is 5x5. Five five. You can make it at any size for your projects and just make sure that the size of your plate, the weights of your plate fits into your die cutting machine, whatever machine you're using. So I cut, I already pre-cut piece of the chipboard. This is just plain chipboard as I mentioned. And the size of this one is five by five. I'm going to put it aside for now. I'm going to bring my cuddle bug. And these are the two dies that I'm using from one of our newest releases. This is called, this one is called Snowflakes, Large Snowflakes 1 and this one is called Large Snowflakes 2. You can see the size, you can see why they're called large. The size is pretty large, so they're nice and big ones, but they also have pretty detail in, in them. For the die cutting on my cuddle bug, I have my plate A. I have my plate C for die cutting. I also have a shim. This is just a regular thickness cardstock that I cut to the size of my plate. I, I always use it when I die cut intricate design dies. And then I have my plate B. I'm going to position my die facing up. So the blades are facing up and I'm going to cover it with the piece of the chipboard. And I'm going to run it through my cuddle bug a few times back and forth. Again, because the detail is intricate and I want to make sure that it cuts out nice. So I would usually go four times on the chipboard. Now when I take my chipboard out, you can see that it's it cut all the way through, but because the design is so intricate with these little hands of the snowflake, you need to help it the dies die cut to come out. You can just bend your chipboard back and forth, up and down a little bit to help it and get it all the way out. Then the little pieces that stayed inside, I'm going to use my piercing tool and just push them out. For this purpose of embossing, we want to get all of the detail of these pretty snowflakes as we can. So again, they're, they cut through, they're just staying inside right now, so I'm pushing them out. Doesn't take that long. 
then I'm going to clean up the smaller one. So each set of the snowflakes comes with the larger and smaller snowflakes in the same design. So two are done. And I'm going to die cut my snowflake too, the different design of the snowflake. Again, I'm going to go back and forth a few times. Again, they stayed in, but you can see that they're just popping out when I push them. Okay, so let me clean this ones really quick. I say really quick, but it takes a minute or so. So while I'm doing this, I'm going to tell you that in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make a card and we're going to use this embossing plate to create the embossing on a few of the layers of the card. Okay, I'm not going to clean up this one here because I already actually before the, the video I pre-cut a few more. So now when you have your dice or your die cuts ready and you're going to grab your piece of the chipboard and you're going to align them to your liking around your plate. Um, the one that I already have pre-made, you'll notice that I have the snowflakes going only on the top and kind of rounded. That was for the specific designs of the cards. That's what I needed. Of course, you can fill the whole area in to your liking. If that's what you prefer, you'll just need to die cut more snowflakes for that. So I'm going to arrange them on my plate and it adds more interest if some of them are coming out as you can i hope you can see so some of them some corners and the sides of the snowflakes they're coming out that will add more interest instead of them just being lined up all directly onto the um onto the plate something like this. Now I'm going to grab the glue and I'm using Tomba Mono um, liquid glue, the green one. I like how it is tacky instead of runny, but I'm having a hard time controlling the glue. One of my friends, Sandy, she swears by this glue and she can go directly onto little die cuts. I can't. So instead I'm um, I put a little bit of the glue on the um, piece of the chipboard that I have left over and I'm going to leave the snowflake and I'm going, I'm using the um, toothpick and I'm going to apply glue with my toothpick instead of going directly from the tube. And it's better to work on the surface on the mat like this so you're not afraid if the glue touches your your table you're safe so you're going to lift one snowflake at a time and kind of remember the position it was in and then bring it back down to glue it 
and you're going to do it with all of your snowflakes just like that this one is the full and you need to make sure that they are glued on completely so no pieces are coming up because remember we're going to use it it's going to be very well loved because you're going to use it a lot and you're going to run it through your cuddle bug a lot so once I'm not going to continue with that just for the sake of the video once you have all of them glued on you're going to lift it and on the ones that are coming off the edge you're simply going to grab your scissors, turn it to the other side and trim off the excess. So you have straight edges on your whole plate. So now let me show you how to use it. I'm going to bring my cuddle bag back. I'm going to remove my C plate and my shim. This is only used for the cu for the cutting. Instead, I'm going to grab my second B plate. So this is B plate right here. And I'm going to put my embossing plate with the design facing up. Now the paper that I'm going to emboss goes on top of my embossing plate and this is very important I'm using the rubber mat you might have rubber mat that came with your cuddle bug if your cuddle bug didn't come with it or if you're using different machine this is just embossing mat or rubber mat that we're going to use and this goes on top of your plate with your paper we're going to cover it so when the our embossing folder or I'm sorry embossing plate when it presses into the cardstock and presses against the rubber that's what's going to give us very nice and pretty embossed detail and on the top I covered with my second B plate I'm going to run it through my cuddle bug just once So let's open this and see the magic happen. So here is my piece of the cardstock. I surely hope you can see again because it's wide design. So you can see that it's impressed the design into the paper and you can use either side you have a preference one side is embossed another side is debossed so the tail looks a little different it's in reverse so you can use one way or another pretty cool huh well this concludes this video in my next one i'm going to show you how to make this card stay tuned